What's up my beloved human beings? After the first stage of weathering with washes and various shades it's time to get really dirty. Today we'll play piglets because all this episode will be about mud. So curl up your tails and get your piglet's nose ready for a muddy bath. Let's begin with the first layer of mud with mixed dry splashes. It was the first time I was using this thing so I didn't notice that texturing powder gathered as rock hard slime on the bottom of the bottle. This is why I, being unaware, decided to mix it with dry pigment and ground pastel to create a textured paste to imitate dried mud. Don't worry about the yellow remains of the pastel, later it will be covered with the next layer of mud. I wanted to make this model really dirty to display it as a ride after some heavy prototype trial somewhere between nowhere and anywhere in Siberia because it's what this thing was designed for, to be a spearhead of post-nuclear strike ground offensive and go through every type of terrain. Once the first layer got dried, I could use the most difficult weathering technique, speckling. <laughs> okay, it's a sarcasm. If you think the mud is applied in a neglected way and you see some marks of brush bristle, then you are right. Nevertheless, uh, on this stage we may be a nonchalant because it's a base. After a negative experience with dry mud, I took damp earth effect as the second stage. And this thing turned out to, to be a gold. Muddy gold. All because it creates a glossy layer of dirt but doesn't dry flat. I mean, the effect is really three-dimensional as well as natural. It's also very versatile because once I started to blend its edges with an odorless thinner to smoothen transition between dry and wet matte, it took a nice shade. So, highly recommended! To prepare this effect for speckling as first, I thinned it with an odorless thinner and then added dry pigments. Why? This thing is thick as well as greasy. Pigments will make it more textured for speckles.
The last layer was made with thick mud. I put this effect in the most exposed areas to imitate fresh, heavy mud that doesn't fall from the vehicle yet. This kind of stuff is really thick and heavy. If I was richer about any experience now, I'd thin this thing a little bit to avoid so heavy contrast between layers. Nevertheless, this is no reason to break a lens for this. In Polish to break a lens for something means that it isn't worth of any quarrels or some more serious actions. Yes, it's a reference to nice tournaments. By the way, I am curious how you call similar situations in your native language. Now it's time for tracks. After painting them in German grey color, I applied, still unaware of what's on the bottom of the bottle, a thin layer of dry splashes. Then I mixed damp earth with European earth pigment as the second layer. From the upper side I covered with the matte only tracks edges. It's important to notice that object 279 was designed to mainly minimize pressure on the ground. Despite its 60 ton weight, this monster tank was going through the rough terrain like some ninja. Okay, maybe that went too far, but the fact was that the tank wasn't sinking much in mud. Before we go further, I would like to ask you to supporting my channel by clicking the thumb up button below. It's really important because it's a sign for YouTube algorithm that people like my content. It also allows to display my videos for more scale modeling enthusiasts who can watch my videos of thank you in advance. Because tracks weren't as textured as I wanted, I decided to try some really guerrilla method sprinkling some extra pigment on them. The excess of the pigment was shook off. As the last stage of tracks weathering I applied thick mud, but only on dry brackets holes because fresh mud was more willing to gather there. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If now, then please consider to do this along with hitting the bell icon next to the subscription button. Thanks to it, you won't miss my next video during which we'll finish this model and you will see the final effect. Cheers, bye bye.